Boom, stop. In episode 79, I answer the question of how to have a relationship with a woman who doesn't have that much physical lust for you. Masculinity for the intelligent man. I'm David Tien, PhD, and this is Man Up! Hey, it's David Tien, and welcome to episode 79 of Man Up. I am in uh, Tokyo, if you didn't see the previous episode. Um, I'm gonna show you this view again. My room here. Check it out. Rushing to the airport, literally on the dot. Now we gotta run. Um, check out of the room. Okay, so uh, here I am, um, and uh, I'm answering a question from Winston in the private Facebook group. It's rather long. Let me see if I can summarize this. Um, okay, he's in a he's in a relationship. He, he he called it a loose relationship. I think that just I think so. The the question is really um, they have intimacy and commitment, but the girl feels like she lacks somewhat physical lust towards him. So basically, and, and she seems, and he's, so he's bulking through workouts, he's upping his style and his fashion, I assume that's what he means. Um, but he's, it's, he's, a, he's on a student budget, um, so he can't be too fancy. Um, and she says she's preoccupied with other things um, and doesn't think so much about physical intimacy. So he's wondering, what is going on? Um, she says she always misses my hugs and being physically close to me, but I'm not sure how that translates to having no physical lust. So basically the problem is um, they're not getting it on physically and he's wondering why. Um, he says they're both Buddhists, they both meditate, though he does more than she, and they both have similar life goals and so on. Okay, cool. So he's a med student. Um, I'm not sure that, that that's not relevant, but okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna try to answer this question, it's quite, quite long. So Winston, there are two possibilities. Uh, one is that the, the girl you've gotten into a relationship with um, isn't uh, horny. <laughs> I mean, she's not very physically, but I mean, there are people like this, right? So I know dudes like this who, who are more focused on schoolwork or they, they're on whatever it is, but they, and they like connection. They want to have that emotional connection. And you've said, so the other part, the other way he, he phrased the question is he's not sure of the difference. She says she can't figure out the difference between being just, uh, between being best friends and having a romance partner. But she loves coming over to meet him and so on. So um, if she's not um, uh, just, a, if she's not a physical person, um, in, in terms of like, if, if it's not normal for her to, well, here's some other things I can ask you. Um, does she enjoy using her body to express herself? Does, does she enjoy dancing? Um, does she enjoy yoga? Um, or other physical movement? Does she enjoy physical movement in general? If she does, then the problem is you, <laughs> okay? If she doesn't enjoy physical movement and she just sort of lives in her head, um, like, in other words, she's an, like more intellectual, and I know, like I grew up with people like that. I, I used to be like that. That's the way academics professors are. They're like head up. Um, and if that's the case, then she's just cerebral. Then at this point of her, in her life, um, she just, this is the way she just might be. She just might be less inclined to uh, physical expression because she's less in touch with her physical body than the average people, um, than the average. Uh, and I think she then can work on it in terms of, and I think she would be a lot happier if she got more in tune with her physical body through things like yoga, that would help. Um, meditation, well, you guys mentioned meditation. That can help as an added element or component to an overall lifestyle that supports all of your physiology and, and um, your full, you know, full living as a human being with your body um, instead of just living too much in your head. I think that, that can actually be a dangerous um, uh, way to go with it when it's just purely in your head. So she needs to get in touch with her body more. If however she is, because I don't, I don't know based on your question whether she is in touch with her body and, and enjoys physical movement, because if she does, then, um, uh, and, well, you're working out and, and bulking, um, but there are obviously things you can do to, to, to more sexualize your image and presence. Um, I've created a, an entire course on that. Um, it's sold by thesocialman.com. Um, you can, so you can go over there and check them out. Um, socialman.com in the course is called The Desire System. So you, you, can, you can figure that out from there. Uh, 
and it's 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 a short course um in it's a quickie you can get through it pretty quick um we all i also cover it in limitless um it's a but that's a physical man that's like what you look at how you look on the outside so it'll change things like your tonality your body language your fashion um to sexualize your fashion rather than just having it fashionable you know so instead of um asexual fashions having more sexualized fashion um and these are all different courses that i put together for you know the fashion course is four hours um and there's an advanced fashion course which i've only covered live and um, we might at some point do a recorded course on that but um i suspect uh given what you've said that the it's more of her um so that's her personality that's her who she is right now and um you got to ask yourself whether um, this is the kind of person in the kind of relationship that you could um, be happy with because um, you don't want to be in the position of trying to change her um, she might change and hopefully for her happiness she will change um, because i think it's it's just better, the research has shown, to be more in tune with your body. The sun just went down, so now it's real dark. It, you, so don't try to change her and see if you could be happy with that, um, with that type of relationship and that type of person. Um, but yeah, it would be great to encourage her uh, to do more physical movement um, and to enjoy that better. Okay, great. I'm going to run to the, um, to check out and to the bus and then to the airport. Okay. So, um, until next time. Oh wait, join the private Facebook group. Click the link, join the private Facebook group. Um, now I've got my health back. Uh, I will be doing more of these, um, next time, probably in Singapore. Okay. So till next time, man up. <laughs>